Hey folks, Wayne Taylor, Honest Home Finder, out at Bent Creek. I am at, I think, is the last home Toll Brothers out, has out here. And if I can remember this name, this is a Benson Manchester with a basement. So it's a one and a half story home um, with a basement. It's unfinished, but we're still gonna take a look at it. And I was out here looking at a builder that kind of took their place and they had this one inventory home left. So I figured, what the heck, let's take a video. Maybe we can uh, we can help them move it. So if anybody's enjoying this or looking for a basement home, well, you can't help and enjoy this absolutely beautiful day. But Benson, Manchester, we're coming in to see you, buddy. stone Some cedar shake on the side Secondary bedroom up front. That's where you put the cool kids. Look how tall these ceilings are. It is up there. Just gobs of natural light, great windows. A sliding door, closet. It's the full bath downstairs, one of them. Coat closet. It's where they put a lot of your electrical stuff when you move in also. Whether it's for security or sprinklers or anything electronic. That's the electronic closet now. It's not the coat closet. Oh, I wish I had to come in a different time of the day because this is a beautiful home. Yeah, there's a little bit of light popping up for us. Man. Sometimes the old camera gets annoyed with popping from natural light to artificial light. We're gonna be heading down there in a minute. We're gonna do the upstairs first. And again, just crazy super high ceilings. Love the windows. I know, I know. This is what builders do. They don't put blinds on. I get it. When you put your blinds up and it's a beautiful day like this, you'll have the option of opening those blinds up. God, they got more windows than they do wall. Windows to the wall. That's some kind of song from back when. I'm a realtor, not a music guy. Lovely deck. Get your two ceiling fans out there for when it's not this amazing. Talking about I'm bragging on the fall for the south, November 15th. And my air conditioning turned on yesterday. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick peek at the hallway going to the garage because there are some few things. Just again, just a little coat closet. This is a really big laundry room so i'm thinking if you want to put something there and you want to put something there there's a lot of room to do whatever the heck you want these features are all over the place have been for years drop zone mud room whatever you want to call them there's your half bathroom and your garage notice i rarely point these guys out but this one is a side load. You might have noticed that when we're coming in. And it's actually a pretty decent size. Look at the space you've got right there to put your crap just like they have. Whoa. It's gonna be your pantry. Light on in there. 
that's uh that's a lot of freaking space that goes back around around behind that door too nice my folks would have loved that kept that pantry stocked man the master bedroom and don't think that I'm not excited about this stuff I just spent the last 30 45 minutes taking videos of model homes and how they're all decked out they affect me just like they do everybody else like I said builders aren't stupid they want you to fall in love with their product so their model homes are very well appointed This is better lit than this, just that light bulb's out. It's a nice little feature in the closet, isn't it? Drawers. <laughs> I wonder who thunk of that. This is really big. Hmm. For all the space this thing, I'm gonna call it a one and a half which we're going up to next so i'm going to hit the pause and we're going to go upstairs and see that loft and bedroom here we are that's the entrance we saw those stairs when we came in this is the loft area which is huge Full bath to go with your bedroom upstairs. In my mind, this is typically for guests. You got that one kid that wants to be by himself, put him up here. Unless you're having a lot of fun in the entertainment loft. Okay, that's the loft view. Next, we are going to take a look at the unfinished basement. All right. We are in and we are down and we are heading to the basement where we were down on the basement floor. Just want you to get an idea of how much space is down here. I want to say this, the exact square footage of the first floor. That's what they put in the MLS and having been down here before and taking a look at it. God, that smell, man, just reminds me of, it's like my granddaddy's old barn or something, you know. Not to put you off, it's just, it's not a bad odor. It's just got that unused. Okay, if anybody's want to get some ideas about a unfinished basement, they've got it. So I think we're good. Wayne Taylor, Honest Home Finder, top of the screen is my buyer's incentive, guys. Don't leave money on the table. 